Hello, my name is Jeff Warrender. I've designed a game called Funnel Clouds, which is a real-time auction dexterity game for two to six players that lasts about 10 minutes. And in this game, we play storm-chasing scientists who are working in Tornado Alley, which is a part of the Midwestern United States. And on this particular day in Tornado Alley, we have three different tornadoes that are active in the form of these three sand timers and they're going to move around the board as the game proceeds and we have scientific equipment in the form of these cubes that we're trying to deploy to the board to give information to those towns about the trajectory of those funnel clouds so you know they can have some advanced warning about that what happens in practical terms is once the timers are all started uh, it's a fully real-time game and while they're running we are building cubes or building towers out of these cubes on our mats on spaces that correspond to the three timers. And when one of the timers runs out we say stop and we see who has the biggest tower and that person earns the right to place onto the current location of the timer and then activate it on its next location. So. But there's a very unfriendly tie rule which says that if two players or more have the same height tower, then the next player down gets to earn the placement. And the effect that has on your psychology is to inject some press your luck uh, suspense because you see that the other player is competing against you for the same placement. Um, but you're also worried that if you keep going too high that your tower is going to fall over and they do fall over quite a lot. So you have to decide whether it's worth keep going for it or cut your losses, go somewhere else, um, whatever. The game lasts until almost all of the board is full. And at that point we have scoring from area majority. We have the four different towns that are color coded and you get points for area majority in those, and then you get points for having contiguous oops, contiguous clusters uh, in your color of cubes. And uh, what I think is nice about this game is that it has really four different games all running in parallel and all running simultaneously in real time. So you of course have the dexterity stacking game, but then you also have the area majority scoring game. But then on top of that you have the press your luck game where you're contending with your opponents and you also have the uh, auction piece which is to say that you're bidding in a sense your time based on which of the three areas you prioritize at any given time which are you going to invest your time in to try and build up your tower there so you have all four of these different things that you're worried about and, and trying to do and I think this is a game where the dexterity piece actually um, it isn't just a dexterity game. The dexterity element enhances those other aspects of the game, and they, you know, make the 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 bidding and the uh, press your luck that much more suspenseful because there's that skill element to it. And there are a couple of uh, catch up eh, kind of mechanics that slow down the fast builders, but certainly uh, people who can bid really fast tend to do well in this game. Um, but players who bid wisely and build wisely. Um, also tend to play very competitively as well. So we've had a lot of fun playing this game. We hope that it will be of interest to you, and thank you for taking a look.